This is the Canyon Speedmax CF time trial bike of Ilna Zakarin of Katusha. He's been one of the revelations of the 2015 season. He was Russian time trial champ back in 2013, but this year, with his win at the Tour of Romandy, he's really put himself on the big stage. Now, it's a pretty stunning bike, I think you'll agree. Canyon have put an awful lot of effort into their aerodynamics of the frame with an integrated bar and stem there, integrated brakes front and back but there's some really, really special touches on this bike that lift it beyond the ordinary. We've got a Shimano Durace Di2 drivetrain. He's got two sets of shifters up there, which obviously anyone running mechanical doesn't get, so it's a massive, massive advantage. Now the gearing is particularly interesting. He's running a 55 tooth chaining on there. That doesn't mean that he's being able to spin out 55-11. What it means is that he's gonna spend more time using slightly larger sprockets on the cassette to get a better chain line and also it's been proven now to be more efficient to use bigger chain rings and bigger sprockets. So he's saving probably two or three watts over a 5311, which is kind of interesting. His wheels and tyres are particularly interesting. So the team's sponsored by Mavic, so they've got Mavic wheels and Mavic tubular tyres. But he's running a 23 mil at the back and a 25 at the front. Now, Zacharin is a pretty tall guy, so it's interesting to see that he's actually only running a medium-sized time trial bike, and that'll be because, as you can see, there's a massive drop between his saddle and his bars, and that's kind of the most important thing for these guys when it comes to getting their aerodynamic positions dialed in. And then, although I haven't actually got my tape measure out just yet, I suspect that Zacharin is tall enough to be part of that UCI special rule where he gets to have a longer reach from the tip of his saddle to the tip of his handlebars. You have to be over a certain height in order to fit that criteria. Finally, he's got a time trial specific saddle on here. Although for the Giro d'Italia where we are now, he's actually probably gonna want a light time trial bike. He's not gonna sacrifice any comfort in the saddle department so he can sit right on the nose and get as far forward as possible. So that's a Sella Italia time trial specific saddle. Pretty stunning bike all round. If you wanna see more pro bikes here on GCN, then you can click up here and get straight through to our pro bike playlist or for more Giro d'Italia videos, then why not click down there and you can get through to our Giro d'Italia playlist. Or to not miss any videos in the future, just subscribe. Click on me to do that. Or you could probably click on the bike actually, that'll work too. That's probably more attractive to click on as well. I'd click on that over me.